Okay, so if you didn't watch our first video about uh, Avengers uh, Endgame, yep. uh, you It'll should be probably, here. We, we'll put a link up. I think actually now you can only put the links up in the top up here somewhere. Um, um, it should be. It'll definitely be a up, link. Like roughly here. It might be in my finger. Right. Definitely be a link in the description. Uh, this is our spoiler version. Spoiler spoiler spoiler, 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 spoiler. This is our spoiler version of the uh, Avenger Endgame um, uh, review. And so we are definitely going to spoil the movie. Spoil, Where should we start? Spoil. Spoiler. If you are still tuning in and haven't watched this movie, I think it's all on you because we have said we will spoil the movie. It'll even be in the description that we're going to spoil the movie. I'll probably even put it in the title that we will spoil the movie. That's probably hot if you want to drink it. Um, but anyway, now where do we, we start? left off? Where do we start? Hold on, we left off the other video with uh, th uh, the streaking yellow urine in Iron Man's suit. Um, if you didn't catch that reference, you really need to watch the other video. That's why Jack Jack's over there. Oh, he's Jack Jack. Hey, your turn. Uh, he's Jack Jack. And apparently, he's a guy that. Makes, Come in a little closer. Let people see you. Uh, apparently, he's the guy that makes urine and blood Iron Man suit. Hey, that's just uh, that was. I went. On a, I went I, there was a rabbit trail, and there was a rabbit. He had a clock. He talked about being late. I took off on it, and then there you go. I was in Wonderland. I don't think that's Wonderland, but okay. Anyway, I think you fell down the wrong hole. So where do we start? Okay, so um, I'm like I have the end battle right now in my mind. So the end battle. Wow. I Which, mean, where do you like? What what classifies as the start of the end battle? Uh, well, I think. Uh, Really, the end battle starts when the three of them, uh, Thor, Iron Man, and Captain America, are standing there seeing Thanos sitting. Yeah. That's really kind of... I mean, you can back it up and say it's when Thanos shot and blew up the Avenger headquarters, but yeah. I don't think so. I think it, you really should say... Oops, I was shot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Watch that. The three of them are standing there, and then they start the attack. And then they they aren't being tremendously successful, but it's they're not... It's Thanos versus three. Right. And, and Thanos is kind of winning... Well, and then, it's not Thanos of the present. Yeah, this... Oh, yeah, so... Uh, we probably actually should have started with that. Yeah, so they have a plan. They're going to go back in time. Now, get, this is five years after Infinity War. Right, five years after Infinity War, they have a plan. They figure out how to go back in time, thanks to Tony Stark and uh, uh, Scott Lang, who... Iron Man and uh, Ant-Man. Um, and they go back in time to get all the Infinity Stones together to this time frame and... Bring then, everybody back. Then pretty much they, I think it was um, Bruce, pretty much snapped his finger to bring everyone. So the five yeah. years of no one still happened, but then they all just came back. They all came back, right. But to them, five... it's like they passed out and woke up. But what happens is they have a couple of hiccups. The first hiccup being that Nebula, being back in 2014 at the planet of Mirage. At the beginning of Guardians. At the beginning of Guardians, um, actually... Uh, interferes with the nebula of that time. Right. That nebula interferes with the nebula of that time. And Thanos is able to find out what's not only that he won, but that he gets a, his head chopped off. They do actually chop his head off in the beginning of the movie. In like the first 30 minutes. Yeah. It was like very early in the movie. And uh, she, he, fi he finds out that they're after the Infinity Stones and all this. And then he, re he swaps the nebulas. So that the bad nebula from five years ago goes back in time, goes forward in time, opens and up the portal, opens and up the portal, and brings Thanos and his command carrier into. Which, I'm sorry, how does that happen? Because you have to shrink down, and he had no idea how to shrink down. I, I don't know. They didn't really explain that. Um, maybe because the, Nebula used the one particle, the evil one, to get him to get back. I, again, and didn't have any I, extra. I don't. I don't have an answer for that. Maybe he was able to replicate it. I mean, he is a smart guy. Maybe. Right, and he has lots of people around him. Maybe he was able to quickly replicate the the PIM particle. Um, I imagine it's not that hard if you've got a sample to figure out. You know enough about chemistry. Um, anyway, they bring his command carrier in. So after they bring everybody back, you know, they put the stones in a new gauntlet. Hulk puts his hand in. He snaps his fingers. Boom! We got everybody back. It's five years later, but we got everybody back. And then Thanos opens fire on the Avenger headquarters and blows all of that up. And then it was then the basic end starts. Uh, the end of battle starts, which is insane. The bat, yeah, it, the battle to end all battles, it, pretty much. Yeah, it starts off with just a three on one, and then Thanos announces that he's bringing his army to wipe out the planet Earth. But before that, you get a great scene with Captain America. Yes, I'll let you tell him. 
So, this has, again, a little bit, we have to go a little bit farther back to explain. Thor went back, when Thor and Rocky went back to get the Aether back from Dark World. Right. When Thor goes back, he meets his mother, they talk, and he grabs Mjolnir? I can never pronounce it right. His hammer from there. Mjolnir. Yeah. Mjolnir? Mjolnir? Yeah, Mjolnir. Now, of course. So now, he's put, now he comes back with that hammer, and he says Stormbreaker in the present. Right, so he starts off holding both Stormbreaker and... Mirror near mirror. I never know how to say it either. And now, and now Thanos is like pretty much about to like kill him with Stormbreaker, and then you see the hammer move, then hits Thanos, goes back, and and Captain America's wielding the hammer. Right. And Thor is laughing, looking at him, going, "I knew it." Because he was the only one that could even move it a little bit back at Age of Ultron. Yep. So that was kind of really cool. And then he uses the hammer for the rest of yeah, the, the fight. Yeah, the rest of the fight, he's using the hammer. Uh, except for one cute scene where he accidentally pulls Stormbreaker up and Thor has the hammer and he's they like, swap and Thor goes, you get the little one. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. It was, it was good. Um, but after that section there where we find out that uh, Captain America wields uh, Mjolnir. I, I and that. Thanos brings his army down. Thanos brings his army down, then all of a sudden... The, well, I think it's best to, because right before... Before all, before we, what you were gonna say, Captain America like stands he's like, 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 kind of like, kinda, he's like, I, I can keep going, with his shield like half broken. Yeah, his shield. And then all of a sudden he gets, hey Cap, need some help? And then like looks to his right, he's yeah. like, no, on your no, left. What happens is, uh, he starts hearing Sam Falcon in yeah. his earpiece because they undid the snap. Right. And uh, then so when he looks to his left, one of those uh, Doctor Strangey thingy open up and people from Wakanda and Falcon show up and then like tons All of over, them show up. Everyone that they've ever been like friends with or anything show up for this Every battle. Every MCU character shows up. With an army. With as many people as they could gather around them. Yeah. Like all of Wakanda shows up. All of up. Asgard. If I, if all I of Asgard there. shows up because yeah. the Valkyrie are there and um, you got even more armies too, because I'm yeah. sure like most of some shields was, showed up. As, yeah, it was, oh gosh, yeah. It they, was like the battle. To they end even all had spaceships battle. coming in and stuff too. I mean, it was. It was yeah, so you got yeah. This, they had the Nova Corps with them. That's what it was. The, that it was, was like the, the Nova Corps. Yeah, um, and it's just insanely huge battle going on, um, and wild stuff going on. Yeah, it, it was. But the, not without cost. So we lose Black Widow. So that they could get the soul. So they could get the soul stone. Because if you remember from Infinity War, it's a soul. Soul for a soul. soul. So in order Which, to get the soul stone, they lose Black Widow. That one, I'm kind of because you see, because it's Black Widow and Hawkeye that are there. Yep. And they're both fighting each other to see who to because they're who's arguing. Gonna they're who's fighting gonna over the, who will be the one to jump. And Black Widow's like, you have a family, I should do it, and then I. Hawkeye and then Clint, Clint goes into, well, look at what I've become, because he comes this, like, massive assassin and goes yeah. kills criminals all over the planet because he's so pissed his family's gone. Yeah. So he's like, I should be the one that does it. Does it. And yet. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, see, we're in, you're, you're, like, way off the line. Um, Yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, uh, so, yeah, so that, uh, so there's a big fight that goes on between the two of them, which is kind of cute. Uh, in a sad way, because you knew one of them had to go. One of them. For there them, was no way for around For them it. to achieve, one of them had to die. Yeah. We knew that from Infinity War. There was no way around it. Mm -hmm. um, so we lose Black Widow. Um, Gamora's back, but then gone, because she was lost the first time around to the Soul Stone. And her past self helps them out, but, but she, she has still to still yeah, That original timeline has to still maintain in order for them to get to where they are, so she she goes. Um, we lose a cat, uh, Iron Man. In a hugely touching scene when he gets all the stones and snaps his fingers. But before that, though, was even more because so Thanos is like has the gauntlet, the past Thanos, and he's like gonna wipe out the entire universe this time. Yeah, and, and we, then and put new people. And in. then Iron Man looks to Doctor Strange, and Doctor Strange puts up a one finger premise showing this is our one moment chance. Right after, right after Thanos basically knocks the crap out of Captain Marvel. Yeah. It looked like Captain Marvel was going to win, and all of a sudden, boom. He, yeah, he, he pulls out the power stone. He pulls and like, the power stone and out like of the gauntlet. And, like, knocks her out. And that's when that's when Doctor Strange looks over at Tony, and he's like, this is it. And Tony runs over and grabs the st Starts trying to pull on the gauntlet, but what we find out later is he grabs the stones, puts the stones in his Iron Man, his Iron Man, you know, 
glove. And he snaps his finger. And then he says, I am Iron Man, and snaps his finger, and all of Thanos' stuff goes away. His entire armor, even Thanos himself. Thanos and everything, and he won. But the power that goes through that, which we learned uh, is difficult to wield. Uh, uh, Thanos had a little bit of trouble with it when he was putting stones Bruce in. Bruce got his arm Bruce burnt. got his arm all burnt up Cause he, as Bruce, Hulk. Because Bruce was the one that did the snap. And yeah. then Iron Man basically sacrificed himself in order to be able to do that because it was too much power to kill them. That was sad. Which is sad because like, he just recently got reunited with Spider-Man. Yep. Uh, and he has a daughter. Yeah, and he has a daughter now, too. Because um, that was one of those one things, like, I'll help, but I don't want anything from the past five years to change because I don't want to lose what I already have. Right, I want to get back what we lost, but I don't want to lose what I have. So that's why, instead of undoing, it fi- like undoing the five years, they just undid the snap there. Yeah. So that nothing changed. And uh, we also have um, Captain America. America pretty much died. I mean, he's basically, he basically gets to go, he has a happy ending. He gets yeah, to go he, back with Agent Carter. Yeah, no, he goes back in time because... They have to return the stones back now to keep their time, right. and he has to return the hammer. Yep. But instead of coming straight back, he decided to go back to the t- roughly the time that he got shrunken and up, got caught in the ice, right? And pretty much live out the life that he should have had. Yeah, and that was touching. And then Very he comes touching. back and gives the shield. Yes, he passes on the Captain America moniker to Falcon, which happened in the comics already. So that's uh, kind of cool. Um, speaking of things going forward, Thor is now with the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, and um, <laughs> I have blast you if you guys want to fight this out. Ooh, or, oh, who's or, in charge? Yeah. <laughs> or if you guys want to use knives. Oh, yes, use knives. It'll be very interesting. Yeah, that was the, <laughs> the antenna girl. I can't remember her name. Mantis. Mantis, right. Um, the one that could put people to sleep. Although I do think it's funny. This is the guy? Well, it's either that or a tree. Yeah, your choices were that or a tree. tree. <laughs> Talking back root. Because... When Gamora from the past sees um, Quill, and she's like, this is the guy? And she's like, and then Nebula from the present is like, it was either that or a tree. Yeah, that was funny. Um, lots of neat humor, lots of fun stuff, lots of huge battle. Lot, I mean, it's just phenomenal. We could spoil a whole lot more. Uh, basically, every MCU character shows up. I do like Black Widow. Wait, so if we time this right... There's, we can go back where there's, there's three, three stones, stones in New, New York. York. Yeah, at the same time. So then they go back to... Um, Basically, the Avengers first movie. Yeah, when and then, the When the whatever call it, I can't remember their name, attack. Yeah, and, uh, which they were attacking in this one, too, because Thanos had them in, our, yep, in his army. In his, in his army. You know, and then... You're, you're five years too early. Doctor Strange is over there. Yeah, yeah that was really great, because the... Um, um, the... The, the the sorceress lady that was the head of the Doctor Strange people that he learns from that dies at the end of that movie. Yeah, she's um she's definitely she shows up. She's the one he got to convince and to then, give up the time. And stone. I love how she's like, "We're supposed to be protecting the time stone. We're never supposed to give up." Then why did Doctor Strange give the stone to Thanos? Wait, he what? He willingly gave he it away. Did? Yes, he did. Then he must have known something. Then, Here, take. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Bruce goes, "What did he do that by a mistake? He goes, maybe it wasn't his mistake. So in other words, she was saying, maybe I didn't give you the stone, which caused that to happen. So maybe I need to give you the stone now. You know, so. <laughs> but yeah, it was phenomenal movie. Um, where they go from here as far as phase four or whatnot is obviously doing new stuff. But this was this was pretty, pretty darn impressive. Every MCU character shows up in some form. In yeah. some cases, it's just... I think they used a couple of footages from the originals. Like the one shot where they go around the Avengers in yeah. the very first movie. That's yeah. obviously yeah, taken back, from the first back movie. Back when, you know, that was like amazing when they first team up. Yeah, that scene's back. Talking about that, there's some really wild scenes like Captain America fighting Captain America. Oh, yeah. Although, I like how, like... Okay, so it's right after the shield that or Hydra that they didn't know yet... Agents take the scepter. Captain America steps in, and he's like in From there. From the future, the yeah. Future Captan America steps, steps in, in, and he's like, "I'm taking the shield," and then he leans over to one Hill Hydra, and they and let him they walk out away with, with the scepter. It's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, that yeah. was that was so. Captain America fighting Captain America. Then we got had, Nebula fighting Nebula. Then you had Thor meeting his mom. Thor and oh gosh, Thor is touch, reading up with his mom and his mom knowing she, he's from the future yeah. and stuff. I mean, of course, this Thor is a fat Thor, <laughs> which is really kind of funny. I mean, great. he still fights like crazy, but he's a he's he's got a gut on him. <laughs> Five years he's been drinking beer, eating. I just like and him. upset that Cinemax is out in his cable. <laughs> I, I just catch up 
also kind of funny so when we first see, meet back with Thor after the five years um, he's with his two friends from Ragnarok and yeah. um, and one of them's playing the game Fortnite he's like the guy's being together the Thor takes it so it's like I will this is Thor if you don't log off I'll come over there in your basement and take your feet <laughs> I was just like wow yeah, it was, there was a lot of good humor you know Marvel um I don't know what else to, to really say other than the movie was absolutely phenomenal. The ending was extremely touching in multiple ways. Yeah. Losing a couple of characters. Uh, Captain America getting his happy ending with uh, uh, Agent Carter. Um, yeah, because they even show at the very end, they actually show them slow dancing. Yeah, it was very, 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 very touching. And it'd be definitely an awesome wrap-up to this. So um, it'd then, be cool to yeah. see where they go. Because uh, we got Spider-Man: Far From Home coming, we've already, they've but, already confirmed Guardians of the Galaxy but three coming. Spider-Man: Far From Home is technically before all this, right? But there is something interesting. They have anna- they have uh, uh, announced or revealed that in Guardians of the Galaxy three, Adam Warlock will be playing a role. Adam Warlock from the comics is one that has access to the realm. So when you get sacrificed to the Soul Stone, you actually go into the Soul Stone and. Um, That's why Adam Warlock was has there at, at, in Infinity War. Right. So Adam Warlock has the ability to actually communicate with that that realm that those souls go to. So um, there's uh, there's an interesting thing is he also can swap people out. It still has to be a soul for a soul, but he can swap. So we could see Black Widow and Gamora. Uh, Come back, which would be kind of interesting, uh, especially in Guardians of the Galaxy three, because at the end of this one we could see Peter Quill is still trying to get back with Gamora. It would be interesting if if he gets to somehow bring her back out. Yeah. Um. But obviously he, but the cost, right? So obviously the cost there would probably have to be some sort of bad guy. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'd have no problem sacrificing a bad guy to get back my future wife. You know, that kind of thing. I think. Um. But, uh, yeah, so that ought to be interesting. Um, and I don't know what other movies they have planned after this one. Obviously, there's not going to be another Iron Man. There could be multiple Avenger movies because there are lots of different members of the Avengers that could still... Especially since right before um, they charge, he says Avengers assemble to everyone. Yeah. And they all assemble, really. Yeah. I mean, that's... There, I don't think they've missed anybody at all. Every, yeah. Every, yeah, every Marvel character both hero and like support character or whatnot appeared in this movie in one form or another like i'm saying peggy carter showed up um uh jane foster shows up um although i think her scenes were just previous scenes i don't think they actually used new scenes shot with her but um being that every character from all these movies make an appearance at some point and a lot of them show up at the end battle we have the entire wakanda army yeah, uh, just, it was it was crazy intense. Yeah, crazy intense, but really awesome. Well worth well worth it. That Marvel did a fantastic job. Um, I don't know what else to say uh, other than this movie is phenomenal. Now what I need is a box set, Marvel Phase One through Three box set. Get them all at once because I haven't bought any of them because I I knew um, after they announced about Avengers was Phase One and that they had three phases planned i knew there was no point in buying any of these movies let's just wait so now we need a gigantic box set in fact you can call it the geek box for all we care about yeah don't yeah i also would like it to be like 20 bucks but that's not gonna <laughs> happen it's, we're talking what I, I i keep forgetting i like think the number is 22 movies plus this one so 23 i keep forgetting i've, I've seen the number multiple times but say 23 movies even if they were at ten dollars a piece you're talking 250 bucks basically and that's at ten dollars a piece per movie, right? So, and it'll probably be some sort of collector's thing. So it'll probably be like five hundred dollars. I won't yeah. be able to afford it. I want it. Maybe Marvel should just send us one. I mean, we're big fans, you know. Mm-hmm. Literally, like we're we're six. I'm you're like six two. I'm six four. Both of us are over three hundred pounds. We're huge fans. We're like we're like the Thor version of fans uh, from the new, you know, the, the got the gut going. But boy, we love our Marvel movies. Instead of beer. Yeah, we're not. I I'm allergic to alcohol. Oh, so. I love that. I'm not coming with you guys. There's beer There's on the beer ship. ship. What kind of beer? Yeah. <laughs> Great movie. Anyway, 
we're going to wrap this one up. This is our spoiler version. Uh, again, like our stuff and everything else like that. This, is, this should be posted roughly a week after it opens. So hopefully at this point, everybody else has been spoiling it too. So I hope we didn't spoil anything for you. But if you stayed with we us really this far. We really only like, talked about the end battle. So Yeah. And, and it's just an awesome movie. Awesome yeah. wrap up. Well worth it. Obviously a cinematic event. I mean, this is the first time that movie-wise they have had this many movies all building up to one movie you know i mean there have been a couple of you know like star wars um you know the trilogy right and then they've done separate trilogies you can even say all nine with episode nine coming out later this year all nine count as one kind of contiguous story building up sort of but, but not like, like this this one's at 20 something yet yeah, nothing even comes remotely close so definitely definitely a cinematic event yeah, people are going to be talking about it for a long, long time. Awesome movie. Go see it if you haven't. And if we spoiled it and you made it all the way this far, what are you waiting for, man? I mean, like, get your butt out of the feet. Pause this. Come back to us later. Make sure you hit subscribe. You know, all that good stuff. If the button's um, red, that means you haven't hit it and you must change it. That's right. And then if you click the little bell, tell it'll actually notify you every time we post something. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and head on out. That's our spoiler version. Probably not too, too spoilery, but definitely had spoilers in it. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, if you haven't seen the first one, we would actually tell you which movies you have to watch in order to be able to see this one. So, you should probably watch that first one anyway. Yep. Otherwise, we'll catch you on the flip side. Bye. Bye.